Hey there, Carolyn. Welcome to the show. Always pumped to connect with the Paper Chase team. Thanks, Morgan. It's so good to be with Occupy today. So I have some mail here, and this piece of mail looks like it's addressed to both Paper Chase and to Dear Lee Silver. So let's give it a read. Dear Lee Silver, we have the perfect recipe for smoked brisket and pulled pork ciders, which our customers all love. As we grow, I'm looking to open space in New York City, and I expect to make around $150,000 per month with monthly rent proposals ranging from 15,000 to 20,000. How should I think about the lease rent to revenue ratio to ensure I'm operating a financially sound restaurant business? Sincerely, Barbecue Pitmaster, not a bean counter. Carolyn, I think this is a perfect question for you to answer. Yeah, you know, Morgan, I love this question because it's one that we frequently get at Paper Chase. Financial efficiency is paramount to restaurant operation success and signing a lease with favorable rent terms can really make or break your business. So we encourage restaurateurs opening up in New York City to sign leases that are no more than eight to 10% of your expected bottom barrel monthly revenue. In BBQ Pitmaster's case, that would mean looking for a lease that's no higher than $15,000 a month based on that $150,000 monthly revenue. It is worth noting, by the way, that lease to rent revenue ratio is super market specific. So while we recommend 8 to 10% in New York City, that ratio will look totally different in a market like St. Louis. Love that. And that makes a ton of sense. Thank you, Caroline. I'm going to throw one more question to you. Base rent is one of the factors that Barbecue Pitmaster should consider. What are some other monthly costs that can sneak into someone's lease agreement? You know, every lease agreement is different, so it's really important to carefully review that contract before signing and employ a real estate attorney. Other monthly expenses in addition to base rent are operating expenses like utilities, property tax, insurance, maintenance, and common area expenses. All of these can really add up. Amazing. Thank you so much, Caroline. Thank you so much, Barbecue Pitmaster, for your dearly sliver question. If you have any other commercial real estate, lease management, or lease accounting questions, send them over to leaselover at occupier.com. And if you're interested in financial efficiency and restaurant accounting, check out Paper Chase.